Good morning everyone. It's a it's a beautiful day and this is the vista that I've woken up to. Oh wow. Calm, calm ass. And uh, over in the distance there is Kapiti Island. So that is actually the goal for today. We're gonna paddle over there, paddle over there. We've got some porridge brewing. We've got the jug on for the hot water for the suit. Gonna have a quick feed, then we're gonna get into it. We are ready. Yoo this is a busy little place. There are a stack of boats that have just launched. And no wonder, because the forecast for the day is pretty damn stunning. So everyone's obviously taking their chance. Yeah, we made it. Check this out. Oh, what a stunning day. Pretty stoked to be out here. We're gonna make the crossing. It's probably gonna take about an hour or so to cross over and uh, yeah. Talk to you when we're over there. Alright, we've made the hours pedal over and uh, we're in this totally random spot. Just gonna be a bit of a warm up dive and yeah, probably looking for crayfish and power and a couple of kinners and uh, maybe a few butterfish too if I see any. So let's get in. All right, well, let's do it. G'day everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, so this first spot, I just spent quite a bit of time looking around. Um, I expected to find crayfish and power in here, so I uh, was looking around all the boulders and that. But yeah, didn't didn't really find too much here. It was uh, not really the right sort of ground, I think. But yeah. Uh, yeah, ended up just carrying on and moving to another spot. And yeah, in this spot there were heaps of butterfish kicking around, but I just kept spooking them. So this spot had like a lot of deep drop offs with a bit of current running on it, it was pretty ideal sort of ground. But uh, as you can tell from the video, the viz wasn't actually that great and uh, I was kind of struggling to get onto the butterfish before they saw me. Yeah, I dropped down this ledge and uh, actually turned and looked up and I could see the butterfish swimming above me. 
So I made my way back up. And here, finally managed to line one up, take a shot, and yeah, I totally missed it. <sighs> These butterfish are eluding me. <laughs> well, time for an update. I've dived a couple of spots and I'm not having a great day. I've missed a bunch of butterfish and I've only got a power and a few kinna, so uh, yeah, not exactly ideal. It's cold. I'm really cold actually. But uh yeah. I'm gonna sit here and warm up a bit and have a dive in this spot and <laughs> hopefully we can turn our luck around. <laughs> So yeah, after trying quite a few more spots, I found a spot that had quite a few decent power in it. It was super, super shallow. And uh, yeah, I was pretty stoked to manage to get a few. Of course, by this stage, my camera battery was starting to go flat, so I was only able to get clips. But yeah, at least I managed to get my limit of power. All right, I finally managed to smash some power over. And uh, man, I have worked hard for them. It's after midday and the wind's sort of starting to pick up. So I'm going to dive one more spot in the hope that I can get my aim right and actually shoot a butterfish. Oh man, I managed a couple of butters. Oof, man. They were spooky, but uh, yeah, I've shot a couple of little butters, and uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm in two minds now about whether I head back or whether I have one more, try one more spot, but uh, yeah, the day's getting on, so I think I might even just, just make the cross back over. Alright, we're all loaded up, kayak on the trailer here and yeah just getting ready to head out but uh, just thought I'd show you the catch, pretty, wow it's a, it's a reasonable catch but it, I kind of thought it might be a bit more than this but uh, just got the 10 power and a couple of nice little butterfish, they're not big ones at all but hey they're still food and I'll take them so uh, yeah I'm going to head up to a mate's place who's just up the road in Te Horo, and uh, we're probably going to be eating some of this for dinner alright it's a couple of days after my trip to Kapiti and I'm back here in Wellington and I'm about to head out again as you can see I got my suit on but uh, yeah, this is probably my last dive for Wellington. I've got to head home, so I'm going to start making my way north. And I'm just out basically to get a feed to take to the crew at Te Whare Māori because that'll be my first stop on the way home in Whanganui. So, yeah. All right, we made it. Oh. <laughs> Let's get in. I wasn't very far offshore when I found this crack, it had a couple of crayfish in it. So yeah, got to work on them, got these two. Yeah, 
and unfortunately both these crayfish were just under so I had to put both of them back Never mind, on the other side of the rock I came across this little patch of crayfish and uh, yeah, had a look at it and then had a grab here and had to reposition but uh, actually got a first for me and that was uh, two crayfish in one hand with one grab, I've never done that before so uh, yeah, first time for everything. <laughs> and yeah, unfortunately, once again, these two are just, just under legal. They're only just under, they're sort of touching the sides of the measure, but they still go through. So, yeah, I'll put them back. No, oh, and they're both just too small. Never mind. There's a few more in there. So yeah, back down there again. I'll line this crayfish up. Get an easy grab on it. And then I can see there's a couple more, so I sort of have a good look around and see how I can get at them and then reach down and get my hand in there. But uh, yeah, I'm a little bit slow on it and I miss out on them. But uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. I head back to the surface with the one I've got. And finally I've managed to catch a legal one, so yeah. Yes, on the board. Back down in there again and they've all delved deep in their hole but I just put my hand in and have a feel around and uh, end up managing to grab one. Yeah, in this case it's a another legal one. It's number two. pushed out a little bit deeper now and uh, my previous dive I'd found this bank that had a couple of crayfish sitting on it so I dropped down and uh, find this little guy and I can see he's way too small so yeah just wave my finger at him and then move along looking for the other one that I saw and I realise I've gone the wrong way so I come back and Yep, find the second one. Get a quick grab. And uh, it almost actually gets away from me, this one, but I'll get it in. Another legal one. Alright, that's crayfish number four because I got one off camera as well. Nice. A bit later on. I find this rock that has a heap of craze under it and I think, oh goody, I can get two here. And 
and uh, finish off my limit. So, yeah, take a look at them and reach in and have a go. And, uh, yeah, managed to totally stuff it up, but this one actually comes swimming back towards me, so I at least managed to get one. I have a look at this other one under the rock here and half think about having a go at it, but then decide it's probably too small. So yeah, roll over the other side, have a look. We've got another small one by that power there, but... But yeah, I don't find anything else to grab easily, so decide I'm taking this one back to the bag for a measure. Yeah, fortunately, it's just big enough. Well, he's legal. First number five. Yeah, find this guy kicking in a hole. Actually, reasonable sized crayfish, this one. And have a crack at it. And yeah, I'm just a bit too slow, so... Uh, a little bit disappointing, but carry on looking around, seeing whether I can see any others, but in this case I don't find any more. patch and yeah got this little cray here and managed to get a grab to it pull it out and it's right about this point that my battery on my camera goes flat but um, yeah this was my sixth crayfish so yeah from this point on I've only got clips but I find this little shark here just go down and have a little look Pretty cool looking little fish. And yeah, I managed to shoot this butterfish. Um, by this time my camera's going flat, but I managed to shoot three butterfish and also grab 10 power. So yeah, I was pretty happy with that. Oh, I'm back. And I'm on the rocks. Catch bags full. Yes, did it. It was a lot of work, but did it, and I'm cold. <laughs> that was a big dive. Big, big dive. Man, I am knackered now. Whew. Long time in the water, but um, hey, worth it. I've got uh, six crayfish here. They're crawling all over the place. I've got 10 power, I've got nine blackfoot power, and one yellow foot and uh, I've got three butterfish so that's a pretty good haul and uh, yeah I'm gonna take this lot to Te Whare Mauri in Whanganui I think I'm gonna leave town leave Wellington tonight so this will be my last dive for Wellington for this trip all right we're here at Te Whare Mauri in Whanganui and uh, got the brother Tui and Jasan and uh, I've taken the butterfish I got yesterday. We've got some beautiful fillets here and I'm just chopping it up because we're going to do a big bowl of raw fish. Yeah. Alright, we've got the lemon juice in there and she is just marinating away. We're going to put that in the fridge. Let it marinate for a bit. Alright, our uh, fish has been marinating here for quite a while. So it's pretty much all done in the lemon juice. So I've tipped the excess juice out. We've got some tomatoes, we've got some spring onion, and we've got some capsicum. So we're gonna just tip all of that in. Mix it together, and we've got a couple of cans of this uh, coconut cream that are going in. So we'll put all that together and show you the result. 
All right. Look at that. It's done. Got the cream in and everything in. Now all we've got to do is taste it. fish that the brothers beautifully kindly created. I mean, thank you, Bubba. Mm. <laughs> beautiful, Bubba. Good wow. eye. Wow. Well, what a beautiful combination, but with the tomato, the capsicum, the fish is so tender. Hey, Rekka. Rekka. Tino Rekka. Tino Rekka. The for crying. Thank you, yeah. my Thank you for this beautiful question. Love me, brother. Awesome. Me, awesome. Gummy. 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 Gummy.